Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today we are gonna be unboxing some new fish that we have ordered in to add into the new tank. If you watched our last video, you will see that we have bought a 125 gallon. And so I wanted to get some more fish to add into that tank. So we wanted to start the quarantine process. So we have ordered these fish. They were one day shipping. The heat packs are still nice and warm and here they are so it looks like they've been put into individual bags and everyone appears to be moving i think there's just one that maybe isn't looking too good but we'll have a look they're a lot bigger than i was expecting i am so excited about these fish i've wanted them for a while haven't been able to find them uh, locally and i even found it difficult to look online as well so really really happy about these so let's get them out and take a look six of them are two four six seven oh he actually gave me an extra one wow thank you so much dan these did come from dan's fish i will leave a link in the description box below these are huge i was expecting them to be about two inches these are clown barbs they do need to be in fairly large groups of five to six or more because they are a barb type and so like I say they, they need to basically be treated like barbs so what i'm going to do is i am going to take them out and float them at the same time because we do have our quarantine tank is set up right here and they're gonna be in here for about four weeks. If it looks a little strange on this side here, that's because we've got one of our 20 gallon tall dividers and I'm testing it, so I've just moved it to the end of the tank. And as with our other puffers, as you know, we did actually end up lining the tank with the black material that we use for the dividers to stop them glass surfing. So we've got one in just in the end there. And so as I take these out and show them, I am then gonna just put them straight into the tank to start the acclimation process but wow these things are huge like I say wasn't expecting them to be that big so this tank might be pushing it size wise but they're going to only be in there for a short time they are a little clamped right now and obviously their colors are not going to be as vibrant as you would expect but then they have been shipped and shipping can be stressful for them i have to say i have never received fish bagged so well these bags look amazing it looks like they've actually been heat sealed which i just think is fantastic so also the way that they're lined up in the box i'll just show you that again i think is excellent uh, the way they've sort of been stacked in the box we did do overnight shipping so they literally have only been packed yesterday and they did arrive i think it was 10 30 or, or 11 o'clock this morning it was something like that this morning and obviously now i'm unboxing them to start that process so these are all the same uh, these are all clown barbs because we wanted to get a decent size school of them obviously because they're going into the 125 if we really like this fish we may add some more at some points but i just can't get over how big they are uh, when i actually saw them on dan's uh, youtube channel they were much smaller and obviously they have grown he's taken great care of them but um and the colors were amazing on one of the later videos i saw so i can't wait for these to color up and they do need a big tank because they do like to swim and they like i say they do get to about four to five inches all right and then this is the last one and it is oh we can't see it it's another amazon puffer we have been wanting more of these for so long haven't been able to find them and we have now found another one and so 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 happy for this little guy i think it was dan's last one so i feel very very fortunate that we did actually get him so i'm hoping he'll do well in this tank i know with the others it was quite the acclimation process but apparently he has had him a while he is eating snails and eating what he should be so hopefully we won't have too much difficulty so we've had these fish about a week now 
and they are doing really well we did notice not long after putting them in the one that was like on its side in the bag we noticed once it was swimming around in here it did actually only have one eye so that was why it was swimming sort of almost like on a slant but it has no issue with eating and can really hold its own and let me tell you boy can these fish eat we did end up having some issues with the puffer fish as you can see here an awful lot of glass surfing which basically means they are pretty stressed however we did end up taking him out of this tank and i'm not going to go into detail on this video in what we did do because this was more about getting the fish i will do probably a dedicated video uh, talking about what we did it was the best decision for him not a good decision as far as generally when you get new fish however we needed obviously to do something that was going to make him a lot happier and also to get him eating because we went almost a week with no eating and he was just extremely unhappy i will do a dedicated video on what we did and why we did it at a later date our next video is going to be the setting up of the 125 gallon we're going to be doing the background and the substrate and showing you guys how we made it and what substrate we chose so if you want to see that then make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time